welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a travel essential video which will feature some of the products and items that I will bring along with me on my upcoming trip to Seoul. So this will feature items that are going to be in my carry-on luggage as well as my check-in luggage. So let's get started. So the very first item that will come along with me will be my backpack. This is going to be my carry-on luggage for this trip. And I really like this bag because it's super spacious and can fit lots of stuff. So let me just show you what's going to be in here. So the first item that's going to be in my bag will obviously be my passport. I mean, who goes on a holiday without your passport, right? So number one, always remember your passport. So the next item I'll bring along with me will be my tablet. So this is a normal like uh, Samsung tablet and I bring this along with me especially when um, I have shows to catch up on. So I'll usually download them inside here and I can watch it with me when I'm on the plane. The uh, next item will be my travel pillow. This is a Cabu. I, I, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's like yeah, but um, this pillow is actually one of the better investments that I've made for like travel as far as travel essential goes this pillow costed me about like 50 ish bucks but it is super comfortable and like i bring it with me like everywhere so this has saved me like so much neck aches and like has given me so much comfort during my flight so i would definitely recommend you getting one of these and you can just like fold it like into a very small it actually fits in like a tiny travel bag so it doesn't really take a lot of space so this is definitely a must-have also very important for me I usually bring along a scarf and um, it doesn't matter what kind of scarf it is just I just need to have a scarf because I can use one as a blanket if it gets too cold or sometimes like I do weird stuff like when I sleep I tend to like cover my head like this and like just sleep throughout the entire flight so yeah, a scarf is a must bring for me and this time around I'm bringing along with me this red scarf so yeah also if you don't want to be weird like me and cover your head with a scarf you can always bring along an eye, eye mask this is actually new so um, maybe this time around I'll try using this but one thing is that I feel that this, this eye mask looks like a bra right? Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's gonna look weird, I might probably just use my scarf to cover my face But yeah, don't forget to pack uh, an eye mask whenever you travel So in case you want to get some sleep, you can always use one so that you know it won't be too bright and you sleep better as well So for the products that I carry with me when I travel on my hand carry bag I usually put them in a Ziploc bag so it's easier and I make sure that they are all less than 100ml because you know that's like the 100ml rule so I don't usually bring a lot of stuff with me so these are actually some of the stuff that I would pack so the very first item in my Ziploc will be my Vaseline lip therapy this is super good for my lips especially when I'm traveling because um, on the plane, your lips can get extremely dry and cracked so I usually apply like a thick layer of this before I get on the plane and sometimes in between during the flight I will top up with more and it really helps protect and hydrate your lips so this is a must have when I fly so next up will be my bio oil and this comes in a 60ml bottle so it's super safe to go on the plane and especially when I feel that my skin is very dry and starts to get very itchy I will apply this and I love that this smells very nice and it also absorbs very quickly so it doesn't leave like an oily layer on your skin so this is definitely one of the products that will come with me when I travel as well I also packed with me an extra dental kit I got this actually from like my hotel you can just always like you know keep the ones that you don't use when you go on trips so I just packed this just in case if I ever need to freshen up to brush my teeth and all so this is just something that like I don't usually use it but it's always in my my Ziploc bag so yeah next up I always bring with me an extra eye mask um, just in case if like my eyes need a bit of freshening up and like if you get too tired or whatsoever it's always good to carry a spare mask so before your flight lands or I mean if you are going on a long flight you can always just apply this for a while I mean it's only 20 minutes 
at the most so you can just use it while you're watching a show or you're just chilling or while you're eating if you're not scared like people will judge you but it's fine so it's always good to have an eye mask it doesn't have to be only an eye mask you can use a face mask as well um, I don't think people will bother to judge you while you're on the flight right I mean you want to look chill so why not right Next up would be the items that I take with me on my check-in luggage because these are the stuff that are slightly heavier and might exceed 100ml so let me just show you what I have So the first item that I will never travel without would be my Clarisonic So this has been with me like almost everywhere I go even like when I'm on staycations in Singapore I make sure to bring my Clarisonic because I mean this um, it's something I cannot live without and it helps clean my face so well so definitely got to bring this so next up for my facial foam I'm using this Pond's daily facial scrub and there's no particular reason why this goes into my travel essential list because I actually bought this while I was in Bangkok and it has stayed in my travel bag and everywhere I go, I just use this as my default facial cleanser So, this Next item will be my moisturizer slash facial oil So I'm actually using this pure rose hip seed oil for my skin I don't usually pack too many facial products items when I travel because I feel that it's very troublesome so I feel just bringing this along does the trick especially for hydrating and moisturizing the skin uh, this is very good so it comes with me every time I travel as well um, because I feel that sometimes I don't know why but the hotel aircon makes my skin really dry so I will use this for my face so I will always skip the moisturizing because I'm too lazy to bring a moisturizer to be honest so I'll just use this and yeah it just makes my skin very nice and soft and when I wake up the next day it's not dry at all and definitely not oily too so um, this is coming with me next travel essential will be my Biore facial makeup wipes like I definitely need to bring this with me every time like if I know I forgot to pack this right I'll buy it from the airport's pharmacy because this facial sheet itself removes all the makeup on your skin including waterproof eye makeup so I mean why would you want to bring like a bottle of oil just to clean your face when you can bring this because it's so small and compact right there's no reason not to and then not forgetting your hair I will bring with me my mythic oil this is actually running like probably out already lah but you can tell how much I use it lah so I usually bring a bottle of this because um my hair is very thick and dry and I have I have to apply a serum almost every day. You know I can apply like maybe like five pumps onto my hair and it doesn't get oily at all. That's how dry it is. So I have to bring a serum with me every time I travel and my best bet will be the mythic oil because it does wonders for my hair and it smells super amazing. And very importantly, since I'm going to Korea, um, it's going to be cold and the air is going to be super dry. So I'm going to bring this Skin MD Natural Shielding Lotion with me. And this is actually a gift from the supplier in Singapore but I have no idea where outside sells this. I'm going to find out because this is super 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 good. Okay, It's like a gel cream. I don't know how to say but when it goes onto your skin right, it literally melts into your skin and your skin absorbs it and it just leaves your skin feeling super like smooth and dry so um, I've brought this along with me on several trips already and it's helped me so much and sometimes if you want like an extra step to like conditioning your body usually I apply the bio oil first and then I'll layer on top of I'll layer this on top of a bio oil or you can use any other moisturizer but as far as moisturizer goes this has been like a lifesaver and it's super 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 good I like cannot explain how much I love this so I'm definitely packing this along with me and of course very importantly my official toothbrush and toothpaste I honestly don't really like the ones that come 
in the hotel so I feel comfortable brushing my teeth with my own toothbrush and my own toothpaste I mean, why would you want to like spend so much time trying to squeeze out the toothpaste from the very tiny bottle that comes along in the free kit, right? Might as well bring your own Why not? And now we come to makeup and as for makeup, I only have three items that I'm bringing along with me Why only three? Because since I'll be going to Korea, I figured that if I needed any more makeup items, I can always buy it from there. So I don't want to bring too much over, so I can have more space to bring more back. And for these three items, um, they're very simple. They are just mainly for my face, lips, and my brow. So for my face, I'm bringing along this Etude House Precious Mineral Cushion. And I just decided to bring this because it's super easy, it's very compact So um, I can bring it along with me everywhere I go and yeah, it's just very convenient And next item will be this Play 101 pencil I think I've over mentioned this in my videos but I brought this because it's also very convenient because I can draw this uh, for I can use this to draw my brows and I can use this as a uh, eyeliner as well if I ever needed one so yeah why not and then last item will be the Revlon lip crayon the shade is number 30 I think this is super like versatile and like you can just use this whether you have makeup on or you don't and it's super natural and hydrating as well so um, on top of this I will usually use Vaseline but this can be the color that I'm gonna use like the whole time so if you realise I did not mention any eye product or eye makeup because I think I'm gonna be getting eyelash extensions done before I fly so there's no need for me to bring any eye makeup because I'm lazy. So there you have it, my very first travel essential video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you again soon. Bye!